Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Dolphin Show at Ocean Adventures. My name is Leo. I have the pleasure of being your host today. And joining me on stage, we have trainers Keith, Lacey, and Megan, who will be interacting with our dolphins. Before we get started, I want everyone to know that if there's one sound our dolphins don't get tired of hearing, that's the sound of your applause. So if you see anything you really like today, feel free to put your hands together and let our dolphins know. We have three dolphins at Ocean Adventures. We're all very excited to meet everyone today. Starting off is our largest dolphin. He weighs nearly 500 pounds. Let's give it up for Neo. Next up, we have our youngest dolphin, and some say our most handsome dolphin here. Over on the center stage, this is Jag. And last but not least, we have a very special star. He's a hybrid between a common dolphin and bottlenose dolphin. Give it up for CJ. One of the most important parts of caring for these dolphins is providing them with plenty of enrichment. Enrichment is anything that enhances an animal's well-being as well as their environment. That can be anything from toys, treats such as ice cubes or jello, interacting with us and learning new behaviors, and even meeting new people. So to help me out with that today is a volunteer from our audience. Everybody, let's give it up for Barry. Go ahead and reach those hands out over the glass, just like that. Perfect. It looks like we have Jag on his way to say hello. So as soon as he pops up, we'll just give him a nice dolphin handshake. Have out a hand for Jag and his new friend, Barry. Another great way to provide these dolphins with enrichment is plenty of physical activity. High energy behaviors help keep our dolphins not only mentally, but also physically stimulated. With that in mind, let's see what our dolphins do to stay in shape. Let's give it up for that dolphin workout. After all that exercise, we want to give our dolphins some time to cool down and just hang out with their trainers. So I have a question for everyone. Do you think that dolphins are fish or mammals? Mammals, you're exactly right. Some characteristics that make them mammals are they breathe air with lungs, they give birth to life young, and they're even born with hair. While you may not see any hair on our adult male dolphins today, dolphins are born with a short set of whiskers along the front of their face. These fall shortly after birth, resulting in the hairless dolphins you see today. Dolphins are also extremely powerful animals. They're so strong, in fact, that they're able to support 80% of their body weights above the water just using their tails alone. Check it out.
Care Ocean Adventures and the Institute for Marine Mammal Studies. We also rescue stranded marine mammals and sea turtles as part of the National Stranding Network. Our goal is always to rescue these animals, nurse them back to health, and release them back to the ocean environment. If any of us were to happen to see a stranded animal off our coastlines, we ask that you do not push them back into the water. These animals often strand for a reason. They're usually too sick or injured to keep swimming on their own. The next best thing you can do to help is to keep your distance and call our stranding hotline at 1-888-SOS-DOLPHIN. And just by visiting us, you're supporting our rescue efforts and getting a chance to see these dolphins in a more up close and personal environment. At this point, show we have trainer Pete with Neil over on your right and trainer Megan with CJ over on your left to give you an up close look at dolphin adaptations. The first thing you may notice is that dorsal fin on their backs. The dorsal fin helps stabilize dolphins as they're moving through the water column. This fin is also known as the dolphin fingerprint because no two dorsal fins are exactly alike in size and shape. Our researchers are able to use this fact to identify individual dolphins off our coastlines. Next up are those pectoral flippers on either side of their body. These flippers are used for steering and stopping and giving everyone a great big wave hello. If you were to take an x-ray of those flippers, you would see five bony digits very similar to those on our human hands. Last but not least are those tail flukes at the end of their body. Those tail flukes move in an up and down motion to propel dolphins through the water. It's also connected to the most powerful muscle in their body called the peduncle. The combination of these two adaptations allow dolphins to reach speeds of up to 22 miles an hour and jump as high as 15 feet in the air. Pretty impressive, right? How about a hand for our dolphins at the glass? We mentioned earlier how important enrichment is in caring for our dolphins each and every day. But one of our favorite forms of enrichment, which happens to be enjoyed by both trainer and dolphin, is getting in the water with them and making a splash.
Let's give them one final round of applause. That does conclude our dolphin show, but our sea lion show will begin right here in just a few minutes. On behalf of myself, our trainers, and our dolphins, we hope you enjoyed the show and the rest of your day at Ocean Adventures. Goodbye, everyone. Things. What conclusion have you come to? 
come to. Oh, we got the secret. Um, oh. Great answer, Katie. Did not understand a word of it. He, do you mind translating that for us? Yeah. She's a sea lion. Trainer. A sea lion trainer. Katie. Oh, let's give it up for her, guys. She's been confident in her answer. All right, Katie, so if you're so sure that you're a sea lion trainer, then why don't we use this opportunity to teach our audience how we train our animals here, and Heath must be the sea lion. So, Katie, what would you give Heath if he did a really good job? Oh, a kiss. That's exactly right, Katie. We use positive reinforcement here, and I can't think of anything more rewarding than a sweet sea lion kiss. But, Katie, I hate to break this to you, but Heath here is not perfect, and he's bound to make mistakes every once in a while. So, how do trainers handle situations like these? What's happening up there? <gasps> Katie, no, 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 no. There are no sea lion spankings here, guys. We do use something called offer and conditioning, and while punishment is a small part of that, a simple no or timeout work just fine. Never a spanking, Katie. But don't be embarrassed. This is the common misconception that a lot of people have, and this does prove that you're not a trainer after all. I don't know about you guys, I think this game has gone on quite long enough. We should put an end to it by putting Katie here to the test. You see, I happen to know that sea lions have very long and wing-like frog flippers. And those frog flippers of theirs are pretty powerful and strong enough to propel them through and out of the water of up to speeds of 25 miles per hour. And they can even hold their entire body weight on those two frog flippers alone. So if Katie can do this on the count of three, she proves to us that she is indeed a California sea lion. But I'm going to need everyone's help to count with me. Ready? One, two, three. Let's give it up for Katie. And with that, Katie pursues that she is indeed a California sea lion. And I can't think of a better way to celebrate this little identity crisis than with the victory dance. So Heath and Katie, whenever you're ready, why don't you go ahead and bust a flipper.